Hi, this is Chris and welcome to Winemaker TV. If you like wine, if you like meat, and you like cider, and you want to learn how to make it for yourself, this is the place for you. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you'll know every time I come out with a new wine and a new video. Today I will show you how to get a starter kit for making a one gallon batch of wine, so stay tuned. <laughs> So you want to learn how to make wine, but the cost of equipment is out of reach. So I'm going to let you in, um, show you an easy way to get a starter kit. First off, you need a fermenter. The way I like to do, I like to start uh, my wines, ciders and meats in plastic. And once the fermentation done, I'll transfer them to glass. So let's go over a, a quick and easy and cheap fermenters. First off, one I like to make start off with one gallon batches. So this jugs, I get this one from Kroger. It is a just one gallon of purified water. You, your airlock goes right into it. All right. If you need any of this equipment, there'll be links in the description below. And like I said, then I can transfer over to glass. Also, I got this also from Kroger. It is one gallon jug wine. This is a Chablis, so for the price of, you can order one off of all, all online from Amazon, you can get this today and you just drink what's in it. This is a Chablis. It's pretty good, it's not the best, but it's, it's a real dry wine and those who uh, are worried about carbs and like myself are keto, I drank a glass of this and tested my ketones an hour after and I was still in ketosis. So this is a really dry wine that has a nice flavor to it. Uh, it has a little bit of a raisiny taste though. Just keep that in mind and if you don't like it, just dump it out and you, we want it for the fermenter anyway. So let's move on to what you'll need next. All right, when you, use, when you use this jug wine, make sure you keep the top. So if you want to uh, need to shake up some uh, sugar or something, you can put the top on and then you can give your, give your wine a shake. Now, that you, when your wine is done, I'll go over some uh, little things you'll need. You'll need a, a racking cane and you'll need a bottling bucket. Rack and cane will be, links will be in description below. And um, how to make your own bottling bucket for cheap. Uh, there will be a card to drop down here. So you'll need a rack and cane. You'll need uh, your bottling bucket. And I get these from Aldi, little swing top bottles. They come with lemonade. I don't particularly like the lemonade. I don't drink a lot of sugar, but my girls like the pink one. So I give it, I buy it for them. They drink the lemonade, I keep the bottle. So, so you'll need the rack and cane to get your wine, your mead, or your cider into your bottling bucket. And from the bottling bucket into your bottle. All right, now that you know how to uh, assemble a basic, a basic wine making kit, I'm going to be bottling up now uh, three gallons of a Muscadine wine that I made a few months ago. And there will be also another card that'll come down to tell you how to do that. So this is Chris with Winemaker TV. And that's all there is today. I'm going to enjoy some of my jug wine. And if uh, you want to help support this channel, there'll be Amazon affiliate links in the description below. Um, even if you don't need any of the equipment in the links, if you uh, use those links for your everyday purchases on Amazon, it'll help support this channel. Also, there is a link in the description for my uh, affiliate link to a brew shop that I'm associated with. And there's a uh, Facebook group, links for my Facebook group, so you can join there um, so we can sh uh, swap, share tips. So this is Chris with Winemaker TV, and that's all there is to